So I'm going to go out on the limb and assume that if you're here, you already know that this is part three. Uh, for the last several days, we've been working on uh, getting the new computer built, getting all the software put on the new computer, and then um, you know setting up the production side of it, getting all of that um, finished or as close to finish as possible. And I'm happy to say that you know now at the end of the day, uh, around when I'm trying to go to bed, uh, things are pretty good. Um, like a solid 85 or more percent. There's a little bit more that I would like to do with the audio, um, but for right this second, I feel pretty happy with the state of everything. Um, I finally came up with a good place to put the computer, um, at least for now. So the computer is over there. We just sat it on <laughs> that, that little end table. Uh, it's hooked up to the TV. It's coming over here to the camera. And then the camera's obviously got the audio hooked up, which is right above us here. So this is kind of the new setup. And what's so great is that normally when we eat food, so, you know, for lunch and dinner, we always eat with this table. This is a this is actually a laptop stand we got from Ikea, but um, we use it like a, a dining table. And uh, <laughs> it's perfect height because we can sit and it can, like, sit between us and it holds our drinks and our food. And uh, now, for the first time ever, we'll actually be able to use this thing as intended for breakfast stream um, because it's always kind of been in the way and wouldn't have worked before. But now, with the way we have everything set up, we can use it, which is um, probably means nothing to you, but it means a lot to us. It's <laughs> really exciting. So um, our coffees actually might be kind of in the shot. Maybe That's just okay. maybe just a little bit. I think the bottoms the bottoms yeah. are. Um, so this is the keyboard. So if we go over here and I click on OBS, there we go. So that is what folks see. And yeah, the coffee is in frame, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's kind of cool, actually. I guess we'll see tomorrow what people think. So yeah, um, OBS is here. And then whenever I minimize it, uh, we've got chat on the left and alerts on the right. Now in the past, I've had... Um, well, I've had separate screens, I guess, because when I had the laptop, I could look at alerts on the laptop while the the television stayed, you know, dedicated to um, chat. But um, I like it this way, where we can just see things going on at both times. So new alerts will just pop up on the right, um, and we can go through them. Eventually, if it's possible, and the only person that could answer this question is Chaz, uh, it would be neat if I could mark alerts off using the Stream Deck. And I bet that that, I mean, Streamlabs actually has functionality built in already. Uh -huh. It's just not for that specific thing, mm -hmm. but Chaz could probably figure it out because Chaz knows how to do those sorts of things. But yeah, I got the Stream Deck set up also. Um, I think I went over that yesterday, but yeah, that's that's working. Um, there was an issue that we were having with one of Chaz's scripts, but I talked to him on the phone tonight and we got it fixed. Um, the only other thing is that uh, the camera probably looks a little different, and that's because I ordered a cage, and the cage came today. So we've got this really cool cage that sits, um, that it sits inside of, and it has all these poles because these are all various mounting points that you can put other gear. Uh, one of the things I chose to get was a, uh, a handle so it's easier to, to move around. I also got a, uh, a T5 Samsung SSD, which is a really tiny SSD, because the media that this takes is SD, CFast 2.0, and it also has a USB-C port, uh, so you can, you know, attach things like SSD drives. Um, CFast media is so expensive, and the SD cards that you would want to use to actually achieve some of the higher resolution stuff on this um, is also so expensive. Uh, SSDs, in comparison, are pretty cheap. So that's that's what I went with. Uh, the downside is you can't put it inside the camera because it's got slots for like CFast or SD, so it would be stored inside the camera. With an SSD, it kind of has to sit outside, but um, it's way cheaper. <laughs> so I went with the cheaper option. I figured, eh, I don't care if the the drive has to sit outside the camera. You know, for the most part, it's going to be here, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, um, I am tired. Uh, we're getting to bed just a little bit later than I would have liked, but everything is set up to at least do a stream tomorrow. I can make it better in the future, but for right now, the streaming machine's first stream will happen in the morning, and I'm super pumped about it. And uh, we'll also be this will be our first stream with Black Magic in 60, uh, 60 FPS. So that's going to be a big change too. So yeah, it's exciting. I can't uh, I can't wait. 
That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Someone's pushing their bowl. They're hungry. Are you ready to eat? I think they're ready for food. <laughs>